Hello everyone. So today I have a pretty decent sized haul for you guys that I am going to show you guys everything that I got. This is from the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. Plus I got some things from Colourpop and Sephora and what else? I I don't remember. Oh, I also purchased a couple things from BH Cosmetics. So I wanted to go through and show you guys everything that I got. I am proud to say I did not go too crazy during this sale. I was patting myself on the back for that one. I made sure to stick in my budget and uh, yeah. So it may seem like a lot, but not all of it's from Ulta, so. Before we get started, if you guys are new, hey, my name's Liz. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Also ring your guys' notification bell so you can be notified for my future videos that I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And if you guys wanna see what makeup that I have hauled over the past couple weeks, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm gonna try to start with the things that I got during the 21 days of Ulta. So I'm just gonna try to sort everything out here. Mm -hmm. I probably should have done this before, but I didn't, so. So these are the things that I got from the 21 Days of Ulta sale. So I'm just gonna start with this. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Izer. It's a primer and a moisturizer in one. And I actually really, really like this. So I had gotten a mini version uh, in a Sephora value box where you get a bunch of different minis. This was in there just like I said, a little mini version and I've used up half of it already. It's a pretty decent amount in there and I really like it. This just gives my skin a very natural, glowy, moisturized look. It also provides my skin moisture, but it also gives that nice dewy glow to my skin after I put my foundation on. So I feel like this is gonna be like my go-to primer and I don't know how it took me so long to try it. Uh, I think it's originally like 40 bucks, which is probably why I've never tried it because that's real expensive. And uh, getting it half off, I was like, yeah, duh, I'm gonna get it. The next thing that I got, this is the Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze. I got mine in Bare to Light, obviously, because I'm so fair. But I have been using this like crazy since I got it. And it's the bronzer that I have on today. And I love this. I don't know what it is about this, but it is just so nice. I, I mean, I guess if you're wanting to like go ham with your bronzer, this probably isn't the product for you. But if you just want that natural bronzy glow to your face, this is definitely what I would use. I feel like it just, it's foolproof, really. I feel like you're not gonna make it patchy and it's not gonna be all weird on your skin. It's just gonna give you that beautiful summer sun-kissed glow to your face. And I really like it, worth every penny. The next thing that I got that I'm super excited about and I'm really hoping that this works for me because if it doesn't, I'll be sad. This is the Persona Cosmetics Zuma Highlight. They didn't have the fairest one. I believe that there's another highlight that's fairer than Zuma, but Everybody raves about this one, especially this shade in particular. And I really hope it works for my skin. So I just want to do a little swatch. So it does look like a goldy type of highlight. And this is what it looks like. If you can tell on my hand, that does look super, super pretty. I'm wondering if it is gonna be too dark for me though, which I will be really sad about. Just try a little bit, add a little extra glow. That's okay, right? I don't think that's bad. I think that works. That's actually really pretty. And I feel like it's not too dark for my skin tone. I don't think that's bad. What do you guys think? Too dark for my skin tone or is it fine? I'm, I'm gonna go with it's okay for now unless somebody tells me it's way too dark. Like I said, I got this, so I'm excited. The next thing I got, this is the Benefit Gimme Brow, Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel. This is the only thing that I have in my brows today. And I think it's really nice for those days where you just want a natural brow and you don't wanna spend super long on using a pencil and filling them in. This is just nice to kind of you know, quickly brush through your brows and you're done. So it's just got this little spoolie on the end of it and it has some gel and microfibers in there. I did get mine in the shade 4.5, which is one of their newer shades that I feel work really well for my 
brows. So I'm really excited to use this. The next couple things that I got, I got two nude sticks lipsticks. This is the Gel Balm in Posh, and this is the Matte Lip in Bell. And as I was looking at swatches uh, online to determine what I wanted, I didn't realize that the two that I picked basically look the same. So it's really just the formula that's different. Um, the shades are very, very similar. So there you can see shades are very similar, but you know, oh well. So this one is the Posh, which is the gel cream. The thing that I like about these, it's like a gloss lip stick in one, which I love. I have the J Mama one like that, and it's my favorite. Um, and then this is the matte in Bell. So you can see super similar in color. One is just more of a gel glossy finish and one is more of a matte, but I do enjoy these colors. So, you know, not the worst thing in the world, but I could have probably picked different shades that weren't almost exactly the same. And the last thing that I got from the Ulta 21 Days, the Smashbox Ablaze Face Palette. This popped up as one of the bonus items um, that they just randomly threw in there. And I love the Cali Contour Palette that I had to get this one as well. And why not get it half off? So this is what it looks like. So you have a two contouring shades or bronzer, depending on how you want to use it and you got some blushes and highlights. These are the highlights and these are the blushes. I just thought it would be really fun. I don't have any blushes that are this color. And uh, I, like I said, I love my Cali Contour palette. So I figured I could add this to the collection. And yeah, they have another one that they released that I've been eyeing too. So we'll see if I get that one. Okay, so now let's see. Let's do ColourPop. So these are the things that I picked up from ColourPop recently. I picked up some of the things from their Villains collection. So I got the Maleficent Super Shock Highlight, which I thought was really pretty. I watched a ton of swatch videos and this was the one that I decided to go with. I think it's so pretty and I love the Super Shock formula. Look at that, that just looks wet. Gorgeous, I, I think this one's so pretty. It does have some chunky glitter in it, but I feel like it's not like a bad chunky glitter, if that makes sense. I just really like this shade. I really like it. Like I said, I really like the Super Shark formula, so real excited for this one. And then I got three more blushes. From their spring line, I got this one is in Yes She Did. This one is in No Vacancy and then Growth flirt. So I decided to get all these after I tried one of the other ones, the Count Me In blush, and I loved it. So I was like, you know what? I love the ColourPop Super Shock blush formula that I'm going to get the rest. These are the shades. I just love how like vibrant and springy these are. I just feel like they would look super, super pretty on my skin. And like I said, the Super Shock formula for the blushes are really nice. For me, who's not a super huge fan of wearing a ton of flush, I feel like these give me a nice, barely there flush to the cheeks, but I still think they are super gorgeous. So really excited to add these to my little blush collection. And the last thing I got from ColourPop, this is the Villains Jelly Much Shadow, and this one's in the shade Perfectly Wretched. And I thought this one was just really, really pretty. Something that I could just tap on my lids and have it just be a real pretty, just just extra something, something to my lids. I've done this one before, like I said, just tapping it on the center of my lid and it gives a really pretty glow to my lid. So it's just a nice like sparkly champagne-y kind of a color, if you can see that right there. Um, obviously you could probably build it up and get a lot more color payout to it, but I feel like it's just a nice topper. It would just be, it's just really pretty just topped on top. And I've been trying to use the Jelly Much formula more so I can get used to using them because I definitely have a learning curve to them, but I think that these are gorgeous. Okay, so that's all that I got from ColourPop. Let me show you real quick what I got from BH Cosmetics. So first I got the Zodiac Love Signs palette. 
I wanted to try more of BH Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes. I have one, the Nouveau Neutrals palette that I really like. And so I decided to just grab a couple more and see how they work. So this is what the palette looks like. A lot of people rave about the baked formula and I'm really excited to see how they work. I think I'm gonna do a video on this palette itself. Just a little eyeshadow tutorial or review. Dang, those are super pigmented. So you have all the shimmery shades on the outside. You got some mattes in the middle. And then I guess this is a highlight. That looks pretty nice. That's pretty. I don't think you can see it on the camera at all, but maybe a little bit. <laughs> so I'm really excited to try this out. Let me know in the comments down below if you want a dedicated video to this, because I think I would love to do that. And then I also got the Love in London 16 color eyeshadow palette. This is the cool tone one out of the ones that they launched that are similar to this. This is definitely the more cool tone one. And I just thought this was really pretty. If you know me, I love my cool tone shades. So I really wanted to try this out. Those shimmers are really creamy. Wow. Wow. I am impressed. This is definitely going to have to be another one that I may uh, do another review on. So if you want me to do a review on this one, let me know in the comments down below. Let's go to the two things that I got from Sephora. So I picked up the Benefit Precisely My Brow. They had this on sale for half off and this is my all time favorite brow pencil. So, you know, I had to pick it up for half off because why not? I was going to purchase it anyway. Might as well save some money on it. So it's just the Precisely My Brow pencil in the shade 4.5 and I love it. It's just a necessity for me at this point. So I had to purchase a backup of it. And then I also got the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlight. This is in the Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal shades. So Taylor Elizabeth that I follow here on YouTube posted a picture of this on her Instagram. And I've always been really curious about the Kilowatt highlighters, but I've just never purchased one because I wasn't sure if they were gonna be my skin tone or not, if they would you know, work for my fair skin. I asked her if this worked for her skin and she said it did. So I thought that it would be pretty <laughs> and I was excited to try it. So this is what the shades look like. Oh wow, these are soft. Those are really pretty. Those are so pretty. I don't know how you can see, you can kind of see that one right there. So it has like a more natural one and then it has a little bit more of an intense one. And I like that. I am quite excited for this. So thank you for the recommendation, Taylor. Okay, and the last couple things that I got were just a purchase from Ulta. So after the 21 days of beauty sale, I knew that they were gonna have a 20% off coupon shortly after that. They did it last year. I really wanted this item, so I saved the rest of my money and waited for that 20% off and saved up my points to use. And I got the Benefit Cheek Leaders Pink Squad palette. I'm really excited for this. After trying out the my other palette like this from Benefit that I hadn't touched in forever and I got it back out for my shop my stash videos and then started using it and fell in love with it I knew that I wanted to have this one and I figured that this one had some repeats that my other one had um I feel like this one I would use all the shades in where the other one had the hula light and hula I was probably not gonna get as much use out of that one as I would this one so I'm gonna go ahead and pass my other one like this on to a friend or family member and I'm going to use this one so if any of that made sense as to what I was just saying. This one is so pretty and I'm really excited to see this highlight. I was a little bit bummed because the highlight shade cookie that everybody is talking about is in the one that I wouldn't get as much use out of. I really wanted this one because it had Dallas in here and I love this shade. So you got Dandelion, Dallas, California, Tickle, and Hula. And I want to try this highlight. That is really pretty. It's like a rose gold pinky highlight. Let's see if you can see it. You can kind of see it down there. Florida. Maybe I should use my other hand for this. So there it is on the back of my hand. This is actually really pretty. It's got that gold shift to it, but also has a little bit of a pink shift in it as well. I think it will be really pretty as a highlight. Although I do really want to try the cookie one. Like I said, everybody writes about it. Hopefully they come out with a single of it. That would be lovely. So I'm really excited to use this and uh, yeah. And then lastly, just a couple repurchases. I got the 
L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. It's my all-time favorite mascara and I was running low on the one that I'm using now so I had to pick up a backup. And then same with the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I've got, this is like my fourth bottle of this probably this year. I use it like crazy and my other one was feeling a little light and I was afraid I was going to run out of it. So I purchased a backup of this as well. Might as well get the 20% off of these two. So that is it you guys. That is everything from this haul. 21 Days of Beauty, Sephora, ColourPop, BH Cosmetics. I'm excited. I got some fun new things to play with and I will be throwing them in some shot mustache videos coming soon. And yeah, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys picked up in your 21 days of beauty haul down below. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I'll see you next time. Bye.